Today I'm going to be showing you how you can install Bluetooth enabled RGB changing synced with music LED light strips. Let's get to it. All right guys, so it has been a while since I made that video a while back about setting up my room with LED lights. And while that setup is still working great in my room and I love it, I thought I would go ahead and do an updated tutorial since there are some easier ways to do it. For today's video, we're gonna be using these LED light strips made by Abton. I think that's how you say it, yes, Abton. Now, Abton did send me these LED lights for this video to go ahead and review, but no many changed hands and any opinions you hear are my own. So what makes these particular LED lights different than the ones I used in my last video? Well, first of all, these are RGB, meaning that they can change from any color that red and blue green channels can represent, so pretty much every color. Not only that, but instead of having to get a separate box to control the lights, these LED lights have a built-in Bluetooth modem chip, so you don't need to do any extra wiring. But enough rambling, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. This is the type of things you'll expect to see inside the box, a little user manual, the controllers, and the control board. These are little mounting points, so you can mount the LED onto something. Power supply, power supply cable, and of course the actual LED lights themselves. Here's a close-up uh, image of the remote here. I'll go over what each of these things do later, um, but before, once you get it, you're going to want to pull out the plastic tabs so that the battery makes a connection inside the remote. This is the control box that goes between the power supply and the LED box. This is what allows you to use the remote, as well as the Bluetooth app, which we'll go over in a minute. This is the power supply that comes with these particular LEDs. This is a 3 amp, 12 volt power supply. If you add on more um, LEDs, you're going to want to make sure you get a bigger power supply to support that. But for now, we're just going to be using the original 16, around 16 feet of LED lights that's included in the kit. So this will be just fine. Also. You don't have to do any mains wiring, which is obviously much better improvement to the setup that I was doing. I had to do some mains wiring, which I would not recommend. Even if you are doing my old setup, I was just getting one of these power supplies where you don't have to do any of the wiring yourself because if you screw up, it can be bad. So to get everything set up, what you're going to want to do is plug the LEDs into the control box, plug the control box into the power supply, and plug the power supply into the wall. Let me just go ahead and quickly run you through all the different buttons on the RF remote. So the obvious ones are R, G, and B. Those are, of course, changing from just solid red, blue, and green. And then, of course, W is white. This auto button up here just changes to the automatic default, uh, you know, changing color mode setting. And, of course, you can hit the mode buttons to change the colors, the speed at which they change, all that stuff. And if you're in a mode you like but you want to speed it up or slow down that particular mode, you can hit the speed down or the speed up to change the speed of that particular mode. And then you can also change the brightness of it by clicking these brightness buttons on the left and the right to go to max brightness, or if it's too bright, you can change that back down to a dimmer setting. And then power, of course, turns the thing off and on. Now, as you can see on the side of this little controller, there's a QR code, and if you scan that on your phone, you'll be able to download this app. It's called LED DMX, kind of a weird name, but essentially uh, their way of controlling the LED lights from your phone. Go ahead and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on for this to work, and then go ahead and open up the app. Now, for me, the very first time I opened the app, it automatically connected to the Bluetooth device, but for you, you may need to go into your settings and manually connect to the device. If you want to do that, you just go into Bluetooth, and then you can simply connect to the device there. Once the Bluetooth is connected, go ahead and open up the app. Now there's three main parts of the app. The first is the mode app, second is the music, third is the timer. We're gonna go over mode first and then slightly touch on both of those because mode is where most of your customization is going to happen. First on the mode tab up here, we have all the different animation modes and there's actually, I believe 210. Yes, 210. So that is absolute overkill, which is good. Um, there's just an insane amount of options you can do. And then once you have a mode you like, you can also select the mode down here. This app seems to be a bit clunky because it like it has a slider option for something, I and mean, then it has another scroll option. So it's like the controls are the exact same thing. It's whatever one you did most recent. So I can change it on here as well. So kind of weird, but it works pretty well. So obviously there's a mode here. Let's say I like this mode here. Uh, I can go ahead and change the brightness of that mode, which is pretty nice, and then it will continue. I, I can also change the speed, so if I want to go really fast, I can go that up really fast, and it will go really fast, or I can bring it down and tell it to go slow. So that's pretty nice, and of course we've got these modes. So you can really do quite a lot of customization 
with stuff like this by changing the speed and you know the mode and the brightness and all that good stuff so pretty interesting stuff there you also at the top right have an on and off button for your led switch so that's also nice sometimes though it's weird it, like it works once but then it doesn't work but whatever um and then if we go over to the rain section you can control the color one thing you might notice when you first get it is that the colors are all messed up so blue is on green uh, green is on blue and blue is on red and that's because the RGB color space is uh, the incorrect one. So you can fix this just by going up and hitting the settings icon, going into settings and then changing it to RGB. For this particular case you want to go here and change exactly what type your LED light might be but go ahead and change it until you find one that's accurate. A quick way to do this is to change like a color like green Go back into here and then change it until you find it it's what you want so obviously that would be the wrong one because obviously it's very messed up there so want to go ahead and find one that looks is correct so here i have it on green and it's set to green meaning that we're in the right color space now here's the thing when i first turned this on and got the app only three of the led lights were working and it was crazy because the, the remote it would work fine with this remote it would work fine but when i opened the app only three would be active now this took me a while to figure out but basically what it is is the app is confused about how many led lights are actually on your strip so to do that it's actually in the same section so again if you go click the setting icon on the top right go to setting and then down here it is a little um set pixel button so if you tap that green button you can enter the amount of leds you have now you can enter a number from 0 to 1024 obviously you don't have 1024 leds in this one but if you want to just make sure they all work just max it out to 1024 and then you'll be good to go and make sure every single led light is working otherwise you might have something like this where if it's set to three only the first three led works so obviously that is no good so we want to make sure to fix that Next, under custom, you can actually change a custom mode. Also, on the top left, you can see uh, which devices are connected. So in this case, we only have one. But you could definitely set up multiple LED lights with multiple Bluetooth modems and connect them all here and control them all. So that is pretty nice. Next is the music tab, and this is where you can have the LEDs blink to different types of music. So if we tap this, we can change the mode. Now, unfortunately, this app only allows us to see our iTunes library, so we can't um, play any songs outside of iTunes library, which is kind of a big downer. Um, because obviously you might want to play stuff from another one. This is just an example one that they sent into this one. And then you can of course change the mode so it's more smoother. Or change to that. And you can change the different modes and have it blink along with it. So you can't make it a blink to music. It really is not the most accurate thing in the world though. But it is there. Um, but I think people most likely are just going to be set it to a default mode. And then play the music in the background. But the option is there if you want to use it. Now in the timer section of the app you can change... Uh, to add the times so that the LED light will turn on and off at certain times. So I have it here set to turn on at 7 a.m. And you can, of course, tap that. It is in 24 hour time, so keep that in mind. But let's say we want to do instead maybe 16, and then it would turn off at 16.55 at night so um, you can do that um, if you want it to be timed to say turn off turn on the lights when it gets dark so that's also a pretty neat feature now since I have my room already set up with my own LED lights I thought we would go ahead and take these LED lights over to my friend Brand's house and set up his room with these lights set up so I can show you a practical setup with these lights all right guys so we are now here at my friend Brand's house where we're going to install the LED lights on his desk um, we're gonna do it across the entire room but there's not enough lights for this particular kit um, now you definitely could use this kit to do an entire room you just need to get extensions and for our particular case we're just going to do the shelf so first thing we're going to do is get the LED lights out and go ahead and measure and make sure we have enough for what we're going to do now on either end of these LED strips are a male and female connector so you can get as many of the strips as you want to and hook them together but keep in mind you will need to make sure you have the right size power supply the power supply that comes with this particular kit which is a five meter kit is only three amps and that's about how much you would want per five meters about three amps so if you're doing double the length you should get a 12 volt six amp power supply and so on and so forth you can get these on amazon pretty cheaply just make sure you have what you need and a little bit more extra just to be safe um, for however much led strips you're going to mount on your wall now on the back of these particular led strips are some 3m adhesives so what we're going to do is peel that back and then start applying it to the underside of the desk so essentially what we've done here is started by applying the adhesive along the underside of this uh, standing desk or dresser whatever you call it and we've got the uh, input uh, right here which will go down to the uh, control box which will sit right there and i've just routed it along here like that and corners are always very difficult when you're applying these led strips because of course it doesn't actually bend around corners but what you essentially end up doing is sort of just forcing it and bending it around there and i always just along the corners add a bit of 
um, packaging tape just to help keep it up there because the corners is where it will begin to sag over time. But if you put a piece of packaging tape there, it probably won't be a problem. All right, so now what we have, we have this little power brick down here that goes down to the outlet. And then we've connected that to the control board right here, which runs up to the first connection. Then what we did is we ran the LED light strips, of course, all on there and all on under the rest of the desk. And they actually stuck very well. The 3M adhesive is nice and strong. Along the corners, like I said, I did add that packaging tape, but it was probably a bit unnecessary because the 3M adhesive is already very, very strong. Then once we had come all the way around, I routed this up here and went along all along the back of the TV, just like that, so that you get a little backlighting from the TV onto the wall. We end up having exactly enough, so I just taped the extra connector on the back of the TV here so you can't see it. But of course, if you wanted to add an extra strip, what you could do here is um, take that, connect it to the next strip, and then run it up, say, up the wall and onto the ceiling or something like that. All right, so we have finished the entire setup. I think it looks pretty cool. Here's some B-roll of it. So there you have it, that is how you set up some LED lights for your room. You could apply this to attach to literally anything, of course in my room I have attached to the ceiling, but here I actually think it looks really sick bouncing off the wall behind the TV, so I would highly recommend doing that. If you want to get this particular kit I used, I left a link down in the description where you can go get it from Amazon. Thanks for Abton for sending this out to me free of charge, um, it worked really great. This is definitely something I would recommend for people who don't really need or know much about soldering or wiring because I didn't have to do anything. All I did was plug it in and it literally worked. The only fiddly thing is the app is kind of glitchy at times so I really wish they would update that and get something um, not so clunky looking. But it, once you learn its little quirks, it's pretty easy to use and the IR remote works perfectly. Also, I had a bit of a hard time getting the adhesive seal to come off of the back of the LED lights. What I ended up doing is serving a knife uh, in between the layers of the red plastic covering and the LED light, so um, that's kind of annoying, but once you figure it out, it's pretty easy to get around. Also, big thanks for letting Bran Brandon, there you are, Brandon, thank you for letting me come over and set these up. I think thanks it looks really sick, man. Oh, we're not going to put that in there. <laughs> All right, that's about it.